Word up again, it's Drew. Beer for breakfast, facts for snacks. Different environment here. Um, I was looking on this can. I, I'm doing double IPA, double IPA. I don't do double IPAs or regular IPAs during the week, but I just want an IPA. Have one beer today after work. That's it. Um, Woodhouse Brewing, double IPA, 7.8% alcohol. Uh, this double IPA is a bigger, hoppier version of our award-winning West Coast IPA. Uh, so this would be uh, award winning Maybe it's the East Coast? I don't know. More hops give this a beer even more tropical fruit and citrus notes. A, a subtle, sweet body acts as a perfect canvas to, for highlighted the delicious hops flavor. Bold, strong, and well-balanced, this IPA is perfect for any looking for a full-flavored IPA. Brewed on day. There you go. Uh, December 31st. Uh, just at 12.22. So this, this would have been New Year's Eve. Um, this is uh, March 2nd. So we're looking at uh, just over two months. Two months now. 60 days ago or something like that. 62 days or whatever. I don't know. Because February has... Yeah. You know what I mean. Anyways. Brewed in Toronto. Uh, some Woodhouse is hit or miss for me. Woodhouse Brewery. Brewing. Um, I saw this. I want to say in January, like 20th. It's been in the fridge the whole time. Two months should be perfect. I just did the Exchange 7 um, uh, IPA. And that uh, I had for like six months, five months. And I'm not going to lie. I had to dump a little bit of it. It was just too chewy for me. But I will upload that. And I will do a uh, revisit on that one for sure. Uh, let's get into this, guys. Um, in my uh, Railway City glass i do love this glass every year they come out with a different one and i love it i honestly let's see if i yeah i, I have a couple of them you can hold off right there for one minute while i get this one um every, a lot of people have this one too i like this one uh it's not my favorite but you know i i do drink out of this one in the summertime more but this glass to me is amazing. Let's get into this brew. Um, I am uh, looking forward to having a beer tonight. And that's it. And, you know, spring's coming in two and a half weeks or so. Hot tent season's done. It's flooded out. And we just got to wait till it melts so I could take that down. And there we go. And we'll, we're going to build a platform for next year so we can enjoy it more. So when it, things melt, we could still get in there and not be flooded out. We are lucky with Shane that it froze. All right, citrusy, a little bit of mango, pineapple. Um, grapefruit. I bet you IPA, IBUs on this, sorry. Um, is it probably a bit higher? Probably looking at about 70, as in I smell right now. But that looks nice. It's ice cold. There we go. Um, cheers. And uh, see how this one goes. I think it's 3.72 out of 5 for 400 ratings on untapped. I'll be doing this on untapped. I'm definitely going towards the East Coast IPAs. Very smooth. Um, it's nice. It's, it's tasty. A little bit of fruitiness of citrus. Like an uh, orange peeliness to it with she's definitely about 70 IBU I want to say but you know what I'm always wrong I did that fracture and I thought it was 80 IBU and apparently when Shane did this it was 105 IBU so I want to say maybe a bit more than 70 but I'm gonna go I like mine between 30 and 70 I'm gonna go high point here 70 IBU uh, grapefruit Pine, pine pine tree, like a pine in it, uh, and that's the IBUs right there. And then you're going into a little bit of mango and pineapple and citrusy, like a, a orange peelish. But they did a fantastic job. I think it was three ninety five a can. I saw it. I had to grab it for you guys. If you guys can hear that music comment down below let me know what you think it is or who do you think it is because I saw them live 
once in uh, Hamilton at Cops Coliseum. Um, fantastic concert. Hint, hint, hint. The singer did not show his face. The singer sang with his back to us the whole time. Just let you know. All right, that's the hint. Anyways, um, this is fantastic. Uh, I'm giving this. A, would I buy it again? Yeah, at four dollars, just to have. I hope they do this again, and I could just sit on it for another month and a half. I don't. I, I made a mistake with the exchange seven, um, and I'm getting up again. Don't hate me, Shane, because here you can see my hand, and I'm going to grab it. I did this one. I aged it a little too long, guys. Ah. Uh, I'm doing a revisit on this one for sure. So I know now, no, hands there, so I'm not totally leaving. I know now that from now on, I am, uh, I gotta drink my IPAs within a month, month and a half. No later than the expiry date of three months. Uh, this one still had a good three to four weeks to it. And uh, that's fantastic, Double, two, two thumbs up for me. Um, you know, it's no life in the clouds. It's not a juicy bomb, but this is a great, Great double IPA. What else you did? Good job. Um, yeah, try something different, guys. And it, it has lacing. It has lacing. It's great. And I, I'm going to sit back and watch uh, some uh, Shameless because that's all we do here. Um, and uh, enjoy uh, life. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell button, man. You got to get this guy up, man. Uh, I've been wait, doing this way too long just to have 212 subscribers. I need more than this. Check out our other, other channel, Dynamic Duo Beer Review with Shane. Uh, that needs to get up there in subscribers. Those are fantastic videos. I'll be back sometime. I don't even know when I'm going to upload this. Cheers, guys.